hi guys welcome back so we're going to be reacting on geography of finland today um the official link to this video will be on my description box don't forget to go check the channel out right so let's see what this person has to talk about finland right yeah let's check this out when you see images from the landscape of finland you often see images like this with the caption a window wonderland and so on but Finland is a relatively large country, so our landscape has more to offer than the fancy landscape photos from Lapland. So I will do a public service and teach you some stuff about the geography of Finland. For the sake of simplicity, we are going to divide Finland into three regions. The coast of Finland, the Järvi Suomi and Lappi. Just on a quick side note, the island between Sweden and Finland, Ahvenanmaa, technically belongs to Finland, but it has autonomy. Ahvenanmaa had been a part of Sweden for centuries, but it was joined to Finland in 1921. Wow. Most of the people in Ahvenanmaa wanted to be part of Sweden, but the League of Nations decided that it belonged to Finland. The coast of Finland helps the most of the Finnish population, and the biggest cities in Finland can be found from there. When it comes to the scenery, this is not the best that Finland has to offer. Flatland, fields and forest. Finland has five cities that have over 200,000 residents. But most of the 107 cities or towns in Finland are much smaller than that. If you are planning to have a pleasant city vacation in some nice small Finnish town, I would suggest to lower your expectations. In Europe, most of the towns and cities are unique, but in Finland they are more or less the same. Of course, different towns have some minor gimmicks that separate them from the rest. For example, Kouvola looks like Chernobyl, it is always a headwind in Oulu, and Lahti is the drug capital of Finland. <laughs> but besides them, the towns in Finland consist of the same elements. A big factory that employs the majority of the town's residents, a couple supermarkets, gas stations, and a place where you can get some ethnic food. Finland is said to be the land of thousand lakes, and for a good reason, because there are over 180,000 lakes in Finland. As it happens, most of the lakes can be found in the Järvi Suomi, the Finnish lakeland. Go figure! The largest lake in Finland, Saimaa, can be found in this area. Saimaa is the home of Saimaa Norppa, or Saimaa Ringed Seal. This animal is almost extinct, and that is a real shame. I mean, just look how cute they are. Well, they may look cute, but they definitely don't sound that way. <laughs> and if you ever encounter one in nature, it is best to leave it alone, because if you disturb their peace, you are in trouble. While the majority of the Finnish people live in the coast and southern Finland, Almost none of them live in Lapland. There are like, I don't know, 20 people are living there. What Lapland lacks in the human population, it makes up with reindeers. Reindeers are half domesticated in Finland, so they are like pets. But instead of keeping them at your home, you keep them in the public roads. Public roads. When they call traffic, of obvious they do. Wow. One notable difference between Lapland and Southern Finland is the differences in altitude. Technically, there are mountains in Finland, but no one ever calls them mountains, because they are called fells, or in Finnish, tunturi. Ah, tunturi tiger. There are also other types of mountains, or more like hills, called vaara. There is no translation for this type of hill, and because small fells with trees in it is a mouthful, I am going to call them dangers. I am the danger. Dangerous ground can be found in the northern and eastern parts of Finland, and sometimes they are referred as Vara Suomi, i.e. Danger Finland. The highest point of Finland can be found in the fell called Haluti, and it is a little bit over 1300 meters tall. However, this is not the highest point of Haluti, and the actual peak can be found in Norway, near the Finnish border. In 2015, some Norwegians proposed that a side peak of Haluti should be gifted to Finland in 2017, when Finland was celebrating its 100th year of independence. This would have raised the highest point of Finland by a few meters. 
This idea gained noticeable support from the both countries, but Norway decided that they would not move the border, because it would have been against Norway's constitution or something like that. But I think that this was just an excuse. In reality, this act could have sent bad ideas to our other neighbor, who is well known for its willingness to move borders. This was a beautiful watch for me, but I really don't know how accurate most of his words are. You can let me know in the comment section, right? Yeah, he actually spoke about a few things about Finland and I feel like some of the words I don't have idea about it. I haven't really seen it before. I'm just hearing it from his channel, which is so beautiful. So please educate me on the comment section, right? How true most of his words and facts are on the comment section, right? Thank you so much for sticking around with me. I'll see you guys in my next